friends! We are going to be continuing our Lost and Found series this week, talking about the parables that Jesus told in Luke chapter 15. Remember that these parables were stories that Jesus made up in order to teach important lessons. Last week, we talked about a lost sheep. This week, we are going to talk about a lost coin. In Luke 15, verses 8 through 10, Jesus says, Suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The woman in the story had 10 coins and lost one. You might be thinking, so what? She still has nine more, what's the big deal? But for this woman in this time period, one silver coin was worth a full day's work. The loss of this coin would have had a huge impact on her. That explains why once she found her lost coin, she celebrated. If you remember, there were a few celebrations mentioned in the last story too. If we're counting, the amount of celebrations so far in these parables were up to three. The shepherd rejoiced when he found his lost sheep, the whole community rejoiced when the shepherd found his lost sheep, and the woman rejoiced when she found her lost coin. Here's another thing these parables have in common. At the end of both stories, Jesus says there's a huge party in heaven anytime someone lost gets found by God. When someone meets Jesus for the very first time, heaven rejoices. And when someone who knows Jesus but wandered away finally comes back, heaven rejoices then too. These parables, of course, have a point. They teach us something important about who God is and what God wants us to do. In this story, we learn that when we're lost and wandering far from God, God values us enough to tear the whole house apart looking for us. It's great to know God values you, but the main takeaway of this parable wasn't to tell the Pharisees how much God valued them, even though that was true. Jesus' point was that God values everyone, even the people the Pharisees overlooked, dismissed, and judged because they didn't think they were holy enough. The Pharisees were convinced these sinners were less valuable to God and therefore to them because they weren't as pure or righteous as the Pharisees were. But Jesus needed them to understand that God deeply loved the people that didn't matter to them. Jesus knew the Pharisees needed this reminder, but I think he knew the Pharisees weren't alone. You and I need that reminder too. Like that woman and her lost coin, Jesus values you. And he also values the people that you struggle to value. Although the story does show us how much you and I are valued by God, Jesus had a bigger purpose to convict us when we treat others with less value than they deserve. So who have you been viewing or treating as though they're less valuable than they really are? Who do you dislike? Who have you been judging? Who have you been overlooking or have you labeled a sinner? If you can name someone you've been devaluing, maybe your next step today can be to do something that shows them and you that they are truly valuable. Jesus values you and Jesus values the people that you struggle to value. I guess you could say these two truths are two sides of the same coin. There are going to be times when you doubt your own value, either because of something you did or because of something you think that you are. When these moments come, remember that even when you feel worthless, Jesus values you. You are God's beloved child, and that's enough. You don't have to do anything or be anything else to be loved by God and you have the ability to help others know that they're that valuable too. At the very least, you have the ability to help others not question whether or not they matter because of the way that you treat them. You haven't done anything to earn God's love, but you are loved. Now let that love change you so deeply 
that you begin to value others like God values you. Like that woman and her lost coin, Jesus values you and everyone else so much more than you can ever know or understand. Bye friends. Thank you.